What's up guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to register a domain with Google Domains. Google Domains is my recommended domain provider and I've got other videos that talk about why, but let's jump in right to it, how to register your domain name. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on right over here to Google Domains. You can just Google Google Domains or I'll throw a link up in this video that'll take you right to it. But Google Domains, like I said, is my preferred place of choice to buy a domain name. So is what you're gonna do is right here, you're just gonna look for the domain name that you want. So let's say you're looking for catcostumesdiy.com. And then it's just gonna show you a full list of potential domains that are available. The nice thing about Google Domains is it's very straightforward. There's nothing else distracting here on the site. So you can just scroll down here and you'll notice most domains are $12 a year. There's some that are a little more premium that cost a little bit more. But it's what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find whatever the domain name is that you're looking for and you're gonna click the little cart button to add it to your cart. Then once you're ready, you can just come up to the top of the screen and click go to cart. Now here in your cart, you'll see your domain name You'll see the registration, $12 a year. You can turn privacy protection on, which means that your contact information will not be published, which is something that I recommend doing to avoid a lot of spam uh, to your personal uh, information. And then you can turn on auto renew so that you don't lose your domain. I actually made this mistake where I had auto renew off and I lost ownership of a domain. Uh, because I did not renew it. So I like to leave that on. It just means every year you'll get billed the $12 again uh, to, to maintain the domain name. And then once you're ready, all you're gonna do is click check out. Now you can add in your uh, contact info. And remember, when you use the protection, like we just showed on the last screen, this, this information will not be shown to the public. It's only used for registration purposes in case there is an issue but strangers on the internet will not be able to see this personal information, which is why I recommend you turn on privacy. You'll see right here that privacy is on and your contact information will not be published. After you fill that out, you can simply click save and continue. Now you're ready to review your purchase. Make sure that everything looks good. You've got the right domain. You've got uh, auto renew is on, and then it's simply add a credit card and click buy. Something to keep in mind is when you buy a domain on Google Domains, you're just gonna use your Google account. So if you have a Gmail account that you want to use for your blog, you can simply use that Gmail account to sign in to Google Domains. Or you can create a new Google account to use uh, for your new blog or website that you're going to set up. After you've purchased your domain, you can simply go to domains.google.com and see all of your registered domains. So right here in my account, I can see all of the dom domains that I own. And then from here, I can manage DNS settings, uh, change different settings, I can see when it expires. There's all sorts of different things I can do here to get my domain name ready for my new website. I've actually got instructions right here on my website, learnhowblogging.com, to show you exactly how to buy a domain name through Google Domains, but I also show you how to get your domain name set up with SiteGround and WordPress. So once you're ready to start your blog, you can come to this page right here, and it'll show you how to link your new Google domain to your WordPress blog or website so you can get everything up and running, ready to go. So click the link right below this video to go and start your new website today. It will show you how to head on over to Google Domains and buy your domain and then get your WordPress blog up and running. If you have any questions, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Like I said, Google Domains is my recommended uh, domain register of choice. Um, and if you have any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them in the comments as well. All right, guys, I'm Andy Isom. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed so you can see all of our upcoming awesome videos to help you build an online business and create a lifestyle freedom. We'll see you in the next video.